Hey, yo. <laughs> it's November 1st. I have to finish my website um, by the end of this month. Well, that's just a self-imposed deadline, but I've learned quite a bit in the past month or two. I'm excited. I don't know if I even, did I even show you this? I've come up with my website, like my microservices architecture V2. Finally, I've split my backend into two sections, okay? CPU intensive and non-CPU intensive. So Node.js is only good for the IO bound activities. The CPU bound activities, we're gonna use ASP.NET Core. I, I didn't understand why, what the difference between Java and C Sharp was for the longest time, but now I finally see that like C Sharp is kind of solving all the problems I had with Java for web development. It has a lot of asynchronous built into it. I know Java so well. I've never used C Sharp. So that means over the next three weeks, I'm gonna have to teach myself C Sharp while building, build my whole website. In today's video, we're gonna build one of the microservices. It's probably gonna take more than one day too though. We need to store our information in a database and then we need to write a C Sharp application that pulls GitHub, inserts data into our database. It's gonna be so fun, I'm so hyped. Okay, so our software page currently looks like this. And then you can see I was trying to, <laughs> there's only two projects here, but instead of doing this, we're just gonna have this huge table and we're just gonna display all my GitHub projects. I'm excited to see all this data. Okay, so I've been working on the uh, scheduler. You know, I looked up schedulers in um, .NET Core and I found this one, Hangfire. Um, it looks pretty solid. A lot of the time you have background tasks. So for example, my, uh, my GitHub thing, I need to pull GitHub and insert the changes into my database every like 10 minutes, right? And then the front end can just contact my database without having to actually like it would be a bad design if the user every request contacted GitHub because I would overload GitHub. Like let's say a thousand people join my site. We don't want to make a thousand requests to GitHub. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to learn .NET. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it all out. I'm just going to put on music and uh, just work. Just try and figure it out, man. It's, uh... Chris, 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 Chris. Now we have to take our massive JSON and convert it into objects. Holy shit. Whoa. There is a list and each object is like a project, right? All I had to do was, was say, read as async, list project. And then I just defined the project to be this. And then that's it. So now we have both the GitHub projects and our local projects. We've got one record in our database and it's just this fake data that I just threw in there. It's basically, it's just this data. So this local should uh, populate with this. It's coming from our database. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. And local is here. Oh. Oh shit, this song is so good! Wow. Now we've got something that can automatically detect what's uh, changed. 
we should see all these rows get removed and then this this should become up to date with what github has right now which was mind-blowing right so we're gonna run it for like the first time it's gonna open up ah wow let's see what our database looks like now huh okay now we can test our thing like let's ah it's all back <laughs> you can't get rid of it now if we go to the hang for ah sick both of these don't exist right now it's set up to it says it's going to execute in 26 minutes but little does it know gonna have to here we go processing a few seconds ago wait so did, did it just did it just go oh it just went wow i love how you can see my json here it's, it's pretty beautiful dude um now I, I i you know i didn't even plan to make this into a video because i just code for like 12 hours at a time and then it's very hard to extract any any talking out of that any explanation so the final result dude what what is the final result the final result is we have a service that can pull github and insert the changes into my database now I used an open source software called hangfire and that's what you saw on the dashboard and that's what auto, that's what can schedule jobs based on a cron schedule all I have to do to create a new service is I can write a regular object like this is the function that I want you to execute schedule a recurring job and schedule it on this on this cron schedule and then all I have to do is go into my startup and I have to just say jobs dot add type of and then the type of the the class that's it so any <laughs> any time I'm like oh I want to create a new background service all I have to do is add two lines of code and then just just write just code as I normally would which is which is really what excites me that was my main goal from this project was so that in the future I have a system that allows me to to do that on a bigger scale so obviously I'm excited yeah man you guys should subscribe and follow my social medias and I will see you I'll see you when I see you okay I gotta I gotta make the videos good dude I gotta make the videos good okay I'll try and post more often <laughs>